If then sinful men find favor with God, it is grace upon grace. If God vouchsafes still to pour fresh blessings upon us, yea, the greatest of all blessings, salvation, what can we say to these things? But thanks be unto God for his unspeakable gift. And thus it is. Herein God commendeth his love toward us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died to save us by grace. Then are ye saved through faith. Grace is the source, faith the condition of salvation. Now, that we fall not short of the grace of God, it concerns us carefully to inquire. 1. What faith it is through which we are saved. 2. What is the salvation which is through faith? 3. How we may answer some objections. 1. What faith it is through which we are saved. And, first, it is not barely the faith of a heathen. Now, God requireth of a heathen to believe that God is, that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him, and that he is to be sought by glorifying him as God, by giving him thanks for all things, and by a careful practice of moral virtue, of justice, mercy, and truth toward their fellow creatures. A Greek or Roman, therefore, yea, a Scythian or Indian, was without excuse if he did not believe thus much, the being and attributes of God, a future state of reward and punishments, and the obligatory nature of moral virtue. For this is barely the faith of a heathen. Nor, secondly, is it the faith of a devil, though this goes much farther than that of a heathen. For the devil believes not only that there is a wise and powerful God, gracious to reward and just to punish, but also that Jesus is the Son of God, the Christ, the Savior of the world. So we find him declaring in express terms, I know thee who thou art, the Holy One of God. Luke 4, verse 34. Nor can we doubt but that unhappy spirit believes all those words which came out of the mouth of the Holy One, yea, and whatsoever else was written by those holy men of old, of two of whom he was compelled to give that glorious testimony. These men are the servants of the Most High God, who show unto you the way of salvation. Thus much, then, the great enemy of God and man believes, and trembles in believing, that God was made manifest in the flesh, that he will tread all enemies under his feet, and that all scripture was given by inspiration of God. Thus far goeth the faith of a devil. Thirdly, the faith through which we are saved, in that sense of the word which will hereafter be explained, is not barely that which the apostles themselves had while Christ was yet upon earth, though they so believed on him as to leave all and follow him, although they had then power to work miracles, to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease, yea, they had then power and authority over all devils, and, which is beyond all this, were sent by their master to preach the kingdom of God. Thank you for listening to this sample. The full-length audiobook may be purchased exclusively at audible.com, amazon.com, or the iTunes store. For additional Christian audiobooks or to learn how we can narrate your own book, please go to godsounds.com. God Sounds, where faith is heard.